Everyone has probably a special experience which changed their life and their way of thinking. For me, my travels to Russia were this special experience. The Sonata Reminiscenza by Metna is a very important part of this album. He was often referred to as the Russian Brahms. His style is quite similar to that of the classics. The structure is quite controlled and his textures are very contrapuntal. Up to eight different melodies are connected to each other and in the end the opening theme is repeated so everything comes full circle. His extravagant way of combining tonic and dominant creates a unique sentimental atmosphere. During the recording, we talked about the suitable image describing that, in front of our inner eyes, eventually a small music box arose with a little ballerina on top turning to the music. I moved to Germany. At the time, I was 22 years old. It wasn't that easy to manage living in a foreign country all by myself. I had a really hard time, physically as well as psychologically. In 2008, I traveled to Russia for the first time in my life. I had two concerts in a small city near Moscow. I can still remember my first rehearsal very well. There was an old Steinway on the stage. I was speechless. I thought it would be impossible to play a concert on such an old instrument. I asked the manager who had invited me, how is it possible to give a concert on such an antiquity? But he replied with a gentle smile, here in this hall, on this piano with this orchestra, Sviatoslav Richter played many concerts. I was quite embarrassed, as if somebody hit me over the head. And I remember the old Korean saying, a good craftsman never complains about his tool. Concerts, I stayed in Moscow for a few more days. At minus 20 degrees, where I would normally never leave my home, I saw people enjoying their lives. The ladies dressed up, people worked, and the streets were full of life. This trip changed my outlook on life completely. At the same time, I became curious where the power of Russian musicians came from. Despite their often unfavorable circumstances, many of them reached the highest level. This marked the beginning of my long journey into the Russian music and culture. I read a lot of our Russian literature, learned many Russian pieces, especially those by Rachmaninoff and Skriabin. Step by step, I realized that this is the perfect musical language for me. All of my emotions melted into the music in a very natural way, so that the rubatos and the agogics 
would form in a very natural but also intensive way. All these aspects contributed to the decision of wanting to dedicate my first official city to the Russian Romantics. Rachmaninoff described his Moment Musica as a perfect work for the concert stage. It is a suit consisting of six character pieces. We can clearly hear his own virtuosic presence as well as his pride, even though he wrote this work out of financial necessity. It is like a drama where all kinds of emotions can be found, from sorrow to chaos and uncertainty, to tragedy, passion and outburst, as well as consolation and finally triumph. Everything is in there. It is an amazing piece. The Russian Romantic style can be summarized as being highly dramatic, intense, and melancholic. All emotions can be transmitted directly, and that is what makes it so attractive but also dangerous. It is very important to be very balanced so that I can express my highest emotion but still retain control. In the Russian Romantic style, is also quite different from that of other cultures. It is of the utmost importance to portray natural and convincing rubatos while keeping the big picture organized. The music of, for instance, Schumann or Brahms is in comparison much less focused on rubatos. I think that the Schumann should be approached more or less as chamber music in which articulation and vertical harmonies are more important. And for Brahms, a good legato and the depth of sound are the main points. Also, their structure are usually clearer than those of Russian Romantic composers. The Ukrainian composer Nikolai Kapustin has his own very strong character. He is actually a jazz pianist, but he tried to combine jazz and classical music. Or, to be more precise, he employs jazz technique in classical forms. During our recording session, we tried to repeatedly find this kind of jazz sound. We experimented by accentuating different parts and I played a certain variation completely without pedal, so that it sounds very dry and flat, which is quite unusual for classical players. When I decided to record a CD with Russian music, the selection of pieces was a key issue. For me, this album is like my travel diary, I wanted to showcase the impressions I experienced during my journey and how I kept them in my memory. This way, it became very personal, but that also means that the listener can get a vivid impression of my own style and my own interpretation as a pianist. Working on this album has been very interesting and a real adventure, and I hope this feeling will carry over to the listeners. Thank you.